I had a few minutes today and I thought I'd make a, a quick repair video. And it's really common. I get called on it quite a bit. And I thought I would uh, well, tease you a little bit. If you know what this is or what these are, you'll know what we're going to be talking about. You think about it and I'll catch you over there. Well, as some of you have guessed, it's repairing outlets. And specifically, we're not going to go into, uh, you know, troubleshooting why this outlet's not working or, you know, go into that quite yet. What this one is, is primarily about uh, bad box placement. They don't quite have it right. For example, if you see this, see how it pulls away from the wall like that? As you can see, as you go to pull the plug out, it separates from the wall and eventually it would break. Um, or a lot of times, you don't you normally get this call until after they've moved out <clears throat> and you'll see an awful lot of the plates are broken. And quite frankly, oftentimes you'll find that the outlet is broken. And again, all of this usually indicates the box wasn't installed correctly. Unless you're working in a hospital or a bank, I suggest everybody shut off the power. Now you can use tools like this, which are very inexpensive, to determine if there's power in that plug. You just take your prongs, stick them in the hot lead, in the neutral, and you'll see the light come on, indicating that it's a, a live outlet. Or you may have access to one of these. All right. But if you don't, there's still a good way to find out if you're hot on this outlet. The best way probably <clears throat> is to just plug in a radio and put it on a station and put it on loud so that when you go to the breaker box to shut it off, if you're working by yourself, as you click them off, if that radio doesn't shut off, turn it back on, go to the next one. But if you're by yourself and you don't have a radio, Oftentimes, you'll have a power tool. Just depress the tool handle, and there'll be a place for it to stay locked in place. And that way, you'll hear the drill running, and you can shut it off at the power box. But I definitely would suggest everybody shutting off the power. So let's go shut off the power. Once you've established which breaker shuts it off, go ahead and click it off. If you're new to the house or the apartment, it wouldn't uh, be a bad idea to go ahead and diagram out the electric in the entire house. Meaning, go ahead and plug in your radio and uh, find out what exactly is on this breaker, what's on this breaker, and draw out the house, draw out the rooms, and draw out specifically where the lights, the switches, and the outlets are. And that way, if you ever have a need or an emergency, you can shut it off very quickly without having to go through this because <clears throat> sometimes this is missing or sometimes it's not very detailed. So a, a good uh, schematic of your layout is a great idea. And it's very easy, uh, especially before you have problems. Now that we have this outlet dead, because we shut it off at the breaker. Let's go ahead and remove the cover. Yeah, look at this. Keeps popping right out. In this particular case, it is the uh, we need some spacers behind this. Okay, it's a little bit different than what I thought. If you were to use these, okay, what they are, they're very clever. Go ahead and break them. It's sold in a pair, and you just break them apart like this, and they're for a reworked box, okay. Once you've removed your cover, go ahead and remove the outlet. Okay. 
pull the outlet aside and then what you're going to do is you're going to slide this in on the side of it like so and then push the other one up see that okay and you're going to push these over pulling it very tight as you do it these are for old work boxes and what it'll do is it'll keep the box from being allowed to come forward okay Here's another interesting tidbit. On your outlet, you'll see these little ears. Okay? What those little ears are are spacer bars or spacer washers, excuse me. You can easily break them off. See that? And place them on your bolt. Okay, and fill up the gap that you may have right here. And what that's allowing, when you go to push in your outlet, I need a different kind of cover, but you know how they like to break right here? That's because your outlet's moving in and out. And these spacers are going to take up that little excess space. That's what these are also. These are spacers that uh, you can purchase and they'll take up that extra space for you there. And just one other little tidbit for you. Uh, outlets come in, you know, different uh, quality, again, for price. And most homes have a builder quality, but they also come in, you know, a higher quality for such as institutions, such as hospitals and prisons. And um, oftentimes, <clears throat> you, you know, you get what you pay for. These will break apart. But you'll see over here, this little wing nut right here between the two hots. The gold is the hot and the silver is the neutral, if you're curious. It also has the small uh, slot for the hot and the large slot for the neutral. But if you were to make this into a an outlet at the top and an outlet at the bottom so they're not joined meaning one would be hot constantly for like an alarm clock and another one could be switch operated in your house for uh, the bedroom so you could have your alarm clock on this one and your uh, lamp plugged into this one with a switch you need to separate the hots and that's that little tab right there you just break that apart if you ever have to replace it that's how you do that so, right here, I just put my spacer in. And let's see how we did. Okay, now with the washers behind this, we have the outlet flush with the sheetrock. And that's where all the problem comes in. If it's not flush with the sheetrock, it can move forward and backward. It'll break the cover. And as they're pushing, they're pulling. Oftentimes, an inexpensive outlet will come apart also. So, if you have outlets that are breaking the covers all the time, Go ahead and use the little washers that come with the uh, outlet or use uh, specifically made washers for the outlet. Or if your box is moving in and out, go ahead and get yourself one of these. Again, slide it in the, in the side of the box and then bend the tabs over 
and that'll keep the box from moving too much. I'll catch you on the next one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and share it with people if you would. Let's get those numbers going to the million. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.